Seriously, were you exposed to mercury as a kid? I bet you don't even know if you were. So back when I was really young and it was at that age where I can't remember anything, for some reason I just remembered this with absolute clarity. I was super sick. I was going to visit my grandmother in Arizona and I remember when she was checking my temperature with a thermometer, her kind of looking at it and going, oh, mijo, 104 degrees. Next thing I know, uh, the glass breaks in my mouth. I'm completely out of it. Anyway, she rushed me to the sink, put my head under and guzzling one. Water, water running the other side of my mouth and all sorts of glass. What made me think of this story? Um, I've been reading this book. It's called Quackery. It has a lot of very interesting medical facts. And one thing that caught my attention was a product from the 19... 20s, maybe 1900s, 1920s, called Dr. Moffat's Teethina Powder. So this teething powder was very popular in its time. Let me read to you what was in the ad itself. Strengthens the child, relieves the bowel troubles of children of any age. Make baby fat as pig. Worth it. It contained a really interesting ingredient called calomel. Calomel goes way back. It is a mercury-based compound that was used for so many different things, all the way from the time of Dr. Benjamin Rush, who was one of the founding fathers. But anyway, that's a story for a different time. This was a very popular treatment for babies who were teething, who were gassy, who were happy, who were sad. I don't know if they were there happy, but anyway, pretty much promising the moon and back. And no doubt it made babies much calmer once you rubbed a bunch of mercury over their teeth. But unfortunately, about one in 500 of them would develop this painful complication called acridinia with these really painful red blistering peeling kind of pinkish colored extremities hands and feet the babies would become listless they wouldn't eat drink much by the way this complication is called pink's disease as i was looking through google um, i stumbled on this blog and it was written by a lady i'm going to change the name named mabel who was telling her story how at nine months old she developed these symptoms of acridinia and again that's those like painful red fingertips and toes apparently she was listless had no appetite, fussy all the time, really could not be left alone for a moment. Her mom was just 19 and had just had her second baby when all of this appeared. Really, doctors didn't know what to make of it. She was in and out of the hospital getting multiple injections. Whenever anybody with a white coat would appear, she would just start freaking out. Yeah. So would I. And I guess the treatment at that time is they would feed her raw liver sandwiches. Mind you, this is a nine month old baby they're feeding this. Hopefully that paints a little bit of a picture of what it looked like.